Howdy everyone, I'm Doug, and I want to welcome you to another Positive Gravity. Today I'm starting something new. I've got this nice piece of madrone. Came from a tree on the, just across town that was down and in somebody's way, so I took it off their hands. Um, you can see it's got some beautiful green, and I'm pretty sure it's dry enough. A lot of times people turn this wet. You can turn it nice and thin, and it will kind of do like a potato chip as it dries. I didn't, didn't do that with this because I didn't get it fresh. It had been down for a while, it seemed like. So <clears throat> I let it dry. I just cut it round on the bandsaw, or sort of round, on the bandsaw yesterday. And it's got, you know, a little bit of cracking still showing here and here. So I'm, I'm hoping once I turn it, those will go away. It's about 10% moisture, at least on the outside. We'll see once I turn it. I'm gonna to have to check the moisture again and see. Uh, I do wanna have a round bowl when I'm done, so I'll have to check the moisture and I, I might have to end up turning it and then maybe microwaving it. I haven't done that before, but it's one way to dry wood, kind of from the inside out with heat and do it sort of like a twice turn bowl. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but you know, this isn't fresh wood, it's not wet, it's pretty dry. So we'll have to see. I did scribe a little circle on the top here to kind of see where I'm going, and I mounted the faceplate after drilling with the uh, Forstner bit to make a flat spot. So we're gonna have a live edge bowl. I'm hoping to keep the bark. This uh, madrone bark is typically very tight and uh, stays attached, so it has a nice, you know, reddish kind of color to it. So that's what we're going for. It'll be a bowl, live edge. Pretty straightforward. So why don't we get straight to it? Thanks for joining me and don't forget, always enjoy the process. Sometimes that's all you get. Let's hope that's not the case this time. Let's do it. Well balanced. Looking good.
got this all sanded up to 400 grit. Um, I did a couple tests on a piece of scrap piece. I got Danish oil, uh, Yorkshire grit, and the Armor Seal semi-gloss. And I don't really like the Danish oil. It covered up too much of the grain. The Armor Seal would be okay, but I think I'm gonna go with the Yorkshire grit. It looks like probably the least amount of color added. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. So Yorkshire Grid is a hand blended mix of mineral oil, beeswax, and microfine abrasive powders. It's white. 